what kind of metals can we print today and what's easy and what's difficult i mean we have the technology to print almost any material if you can melt it you can print it there are challenges to print certain metals but the problem lies in actually using a part or a component made out of those material and actually printing that material without defects and then there are certain materials for example the titanium alloys they are prone to oxidation at high temperature and when you are doing 3d printing so you are continuously heating and cooling heating cooling whenever it goes to high temperature there is a chance of oxidation and oxidation is detrimental for the final properties of the material so for that you need to prepare an inert environment without oxygen which, without oxygen so you put it in vacuum and then you put in argon or any other inert gas into it so it depends on metal to metal so if you understand the properties of a metal then you can reverse engineer the 3d printer yes there are certain materials which have very high reflectivity what do you mean by that see you are putting a laser onto the surface of the metal and it's just the light energy so if it reflects most of the energy you will not be able to melt it what are those materials copper aluminum so now for this there are certain different kind of lasers so let's say green laser is used for that or if you want to melt copper you can also use the induction based heating or a wire arc type uh, additive manufacturing process so based on the material and the application you would be choosing the particular process again there would be variations in the manufacturing right but we would want to keep those variables less right so mostly we stick to this infrared laser of the wavelength about 170 nanometer then there are some metals let's say tungsten it's a very high temperature metal you will have to melt it at 2000 degree 2000 3000 degrees for example the laser that we have it's a 3 kilowatt laser i think with this we can even melt tungsten molybdenum all those high temperature metals but then as of now we do not have an application to it which is the mostly used uh, metal for printing i think steel and some of the nickel alloys some inconel alloys so let's say inconel 718 inconel means it's again a nickel based alloy which has nickel chromium cobalt iron few other things finding a right ratio and making an alloy is another craft yeah 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 it's amazing how humanity discovered a alloys like you know playing with the different melting point and combining them creating materials with the different properties and just 1% of a particular material would just totally change the properties of that material it's interesting very fascinating